namaste everyone so in this video we will calculate the question that is from the following calculate x dividend and come dividend so the items are total assets rupees 3 lakh so lab external liabilities rupees 1 lakh 40 thousand then 10 thousand equity shares of rupee 10 each fully paid that is rupee 1 lakh then proposed dividend at 20 percent on the above share rupees 20,000 okay so in the items that is uh, total assets external liabilities and equity shares if the extra item that is proposed dividend is added then the question they will ask in the form of calculate x dividend and come dividend so kotir vantha routine items ologa proposed dividend and vantha item add aitu antandra question x dividend and come dividend value anna find out maadi so adar the equity share Per equity share value one find out more than theory question and the other. So first here we solve a x dividend. Okay, x dividend does not include the dividend value, so that is why its name is x dividend. Okay, so the solution is total assets that is rupee three lakh. So you make the columns like particulars and rupees. Okay, then less external liabilities external liabilities that is rupee 1 lakh 40,000 okay here we get the um, that is rupee 1 lakh 60,000 so this is net value then after in the x dividend be less proposed dividend less proposed dividend okay so they have already given the amount so proposed dividend 20 percent on the above share 20,000 so amount what is 20,000 at the very amount on a direct quote the direct amount on the one less money in other percentage quote the response that is equity shares amount my least percentage in us calculate money it both so the amount 20,000 and quote the rest of the other than the other suppose quote the real and then right so, we will calculate more with 1 lakh into 20 percent. We get 20,000. Okay, then here we get 1 lakh 40,000 net asset available. <coughs> net asset available to equity shareholders. after deduction of after deduction of proposed dividend after reduction of proposed dividend we get the amount that is rupee one lakh forty thousand then here we find out the value of equity share x dividend value per share so the formula is net asset available to equity shareholders net assets for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares number of equity shares so net asset available to equity shareholders that is rupee 1 lakh 40,000 then divided by equity shares so the number of equity shares are 10,000 so right here as 10,000 and here we get rupees 14 value per share so this is calculation of x dividend okay. then we will calculate second that is come dividend or cumulative dividend so the question b is calculation of come dividend okay so its format that is total assets so total assets amount is 3 lakh okay right here as 3 lakh less external liabilities less external liabilities that is rupee 1 lakh 
forty thousand. Okay, here we get one lakh sixty thousand. So this is value for net value for calculation of per equity share. Okay, so in the come dividend we do not less propose a dividend. Okay, because it includes the dividend value. So x dividend or other dividend value wa include agi rojila adka propose dividend na less maanti. The cumulative dividend or other dividend include e rojra inna. Then now propose dividend na less maanala. So this is net value for equity shareholders. Equity shareholders. And here we find come dividend. कम डिविडेंड वैल्यू पर इक्विटी शेयर पर इक्विटी शेयर तो डी फॉर्मूला इज कम डिविडेंड और क्यूमुलेटिव डिविडेंड वैल्यू पर शेयर वैल्यू पर शेयर इक्वल टू नेट असेट्स अवेलेबल टू इक्विटी शेयरहोल्डर्स Divided by number of equity shares. Number of equity shares. So the net asset amount that is one lakh sixty thousand. The number of equity shares that is ten thousand. So right here as ten thousand. Here we get rupees sixteen per equity share. Okay. So this is what calculation of cumulative dividend and exodividend. So if you have any doubts, put in the comment section. Thank you.